guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Thanks for tuning in. Today is super exciting. Super, super, super exciting. I am so happy to say that this video is in collaboration with one of my really good friends here on YouTube and her name is Styled with Mickey. We are collabing today to do an anti-haul holiday edition for you guys. Before I put in a little intro clip of her here, I wanted to just say how much I adore Mickey because she has been somebody that I can talk to about makeup. She puts some really cool, really aesthetically pleasing TikToks and Instagram reels out there. They're really cool. And her video is, she does similar videos to me where, you know, reviews makeup and all of that. She is seriously one of the kindest, sweetest, most amazing people that I've met here on YouTube. And to be honest, I consider her like my first friend that I've made here on YouTube because it took me a really long time to connect with people and me and her just kind of connected pretty quickly. And I just really appreciate her so much. And I'm really excited to introduce you guys to her and you should totally check out her channel and her video. I'm gonna link her video in the description box below of her anti-haul and I want to introduce you to her. So here is a little clip from her. Hello friends, my name is Mickey for those of you guys who don't know and I am so excited that I am doing this collab video with Lindsay. When she first asked me, of course it was a resounding yes. Lindsay is literally one of the best people that I know and I'm so happy that through YouTube and social media we were able to connect over our mutual love of makeup. So I just wanted to go ahead and pop on here and say hello to you guys and welcome you over to my channel. Her and I did similar videos, we both did holiday anti-haul, so if you want to hear my thoughts on some releases that have come out for the holidays, then go ahead and hop over to my channel and check out my video and maybe even subscribe while you're there. Lindsay Lindsay and I both put out really similar content. Mine is a little bit more makeup focused and I'm also in cosmetology school so I occasionally put up content that is kind of relating to that. So if that sounds like something you guys would be interested in, feel free to come on over to my channel. And thank you so much to Lindsay for giving me this awesome opportunity. I'm definitely a little baby YouTuber compared to Lindsay, but I'm so happy that she has helped me along my journey and answered questions and just been super supportive of me this entire time. And I'm really happy that we were able to collab on this video together. And definitely if you aren't already, subscribe to Lindsay. She's an amazing person. She's so kind-hearted and she really knows what she's talking about. She does freelance work. She's really, really bomb at makeup and she's absolutely stunning. So go ahead and subscribe to her channel and if you feel compelled to come on over to my channel, check out the video that I did over there and maybe subscribe to me as well. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys take a minute to go check out her channel, go subscribe to her, like her videos, watch her videos, she's amazing. Her passion for makeup is really big, just like mine, so I hope you guys take a moment to go and support her channel too. And I think I'm ready to get into this anti-haul. You know, I tried to film one of these <laughs> A couple of weeks ago actually was it a anti-haul actually it wasn't an anti-haul it was just like a new makeup releases kind of video but anti-hauls are super fun to me i don't know i really like to do anti-hauls i've only ever done like one two maybe i think i've only done one <laughs> but i definitely like kind of want to make anti-hauls more of a thing just because i need to not buy makeup like i really really need to not buy makeup it's it's a, a serious problem, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna grab all my pictures from Trend Mood because they post the most crap on there. <laughs> they also post good stuff too, but they post a lot in general is just what I mean. So it's easy to find stuff that I don't wanna buy. Oh, also disclaimer, disclaimer, just because I do not want to buy something doesn't mean that you don't have to buy it. Just because I am anti-hauling a product doesn't mean that I'm saying it's bad or that you shouldn't buy it. I'm just saying that it's not for me. But if you like it, totally buy it. These are all my opinions on why I don't want to buy makeup. Not why you guys shouldn't buy the makeup. It's just why I'm not. So let's just get that clear real quick. <laughs> Ever since Instagram changed everything, I cannot find certain things. I'm like real confused. Oh, save. Okay, I found it. I started saving stuff a couple weeks ago. <laughs> There's definitely some new stuff out there too, but I, you know, 
There's a few things I want to talk about, so. First of all, this is the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome palette. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like Natasha Denona is kind of overhyped. I do like her shadows a lot. Like, I do. They're really good formula, but they're really freaking expensive. Like, I don't necessarily feel like $129 worth, of, worth it for a palette, especially this one, because... Honestly, I think this is ugly. I really don't uh, I don't think that any of these colors are attractive to me. I mean, not that not that all of them are not attractive, but together in this color story, I'm just not here for it. I'm I'm really not into it. The selling point of this palette is the fact that there are like do trio chrome shadows, so like it has a really crazy shift to them, but there's only 3 of them in the palette. But it's $129 and the biggest selling point, there's only three of them. Automatically makes me go past, <laughs> like honestly, and it's not attractive to me. Like this palette just does not look attractive to me. Not into it. Definitely a pass on that one. Okay, I have to talk about these with you guys because I just have to. <laughs> so this is the Estee Lauder Disney Princess Collection and these are basically collectible compacts. There's powder compacts and then there's a perfume compact for each of the like um, Disney movie. And these are uh, tugging at my Disney fantasy makeup uh, heart strings so hard because these are insanely gorgeous. I think these are so, 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 so cool. But dear God, these things are expensive. Um, is there actual gold in these? Is there diamonds? because they're better be <sighs> these things range from a hundred and fifty dollars to two hundred and fifty dollars two hundred and seventy five dollars three hundred dollars oh my god oh geez no mm, i can't ah they are so cool though they are so cool but i just can never imagine spending that much money on like a compact it is so cool though but like this is definitely like a collector's item sit on the shelf kind of thing like you don't even like i would never i would put this somewhere and never touch it like because it's so expensive but they're really freaking cute and really 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 cool i like i wish there was something similar to this that wasn't so expensive but still really cute because i would actually like i think this is so cool this is so cool and i've been getting into like collecting makeup like collector items makeup I mean, not not a lot, but I've definitely had an eye for it lately more than ever. And wow, those are cool, but I would I could never I could never spend that much money on something like that. Let's find some more holiday stuff that I don't want to buy. If I talk about something that's not necessarily holiday, it's just cuz I'm talking about the stuff that's being released right now that I consider pretty much everything being released right now holiday because a lot of it is like things that brands are releasing with the intention of people buying them as gifts you know like this is a really big time where makeup in general is being released a lot so that you know gifts and things so i kind of consider everything holiday with that said let's talk about morphe really quick because i'm so annoyed at morphe <laughs> i'm not surprised by this collaboration with nikita dragon but I also like, mm, also still hate them for it. I mean, I mean, that's what they do. They collaborate with problematic people. That's what their backbone and their whole brand was built upon. So I'm not surprised by this, but what is this? What is this palette right now? What? Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that this is what Nikita come, came up with. It kind of honestly looks like it's something that maybe Morphe came up with and was like, is this cool? And she was like, yep, yeah, cool, give me my check. It's like, that's kind of what it feels like. I can't imagine. I don't know. She's a little out there. Maybe she came up with this stuff. Maybe she came up with this stuff and just thought, you know, it's different or whatever. But I think it's so ugly and it's not really... It just looks so blah to me. But I wouldn't really honestly expect more from Nikita. Ugh, maybe I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. I just, this is stupid. Like, honestly, this is just dumb. And I don't understand because she has her own brand. Like, I just don't get it why they collaborate with people who already have brands. I just don't get it. 
why okay color pop oh my god color pop i'm like uh, kind of don't even want to talk about them because i'm so freaking over color pop right now i'm so happy for like the raw beauty christie collab and i think it looks really good i'm personally not gonna buy it because i do have the pure collab and i just the palette looks cool but i'm just so over color pop right now because they've released way 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 too much makeup i'm so drained by ColourPop in their releases like i cannot believe how much stuff they release they also have their holiday collection i'm not buying like any of this i kind of don't want to buy ColourPop at all like at all i just can't keep up with them and like i feel that when i purchase something it's kind of pointless because a lot of the purchases that i make is with the intention to share it with you guys for my channel you know like i want to be able to review makeup for you guys and create looks and like help you guys you know give you tips and tricks and stuff using like new makeup and like just you know using makeup just using like new makeup and stuff and every time i purchase from them literally when i get it it's too late because anybody who's on a pr list for ColourPop has already done a video on it and it's like on to the next thing and it's just like stressful even thinking about buying anything from them because it's pointless like it's just so pointless for my case and it's too much it's just just too much i cannot with ColourPop. i can't believe how many things they release and they know it too like i just don't understand at what point do they stop or are they just gonna keep pressing on because i just can't imagine a brand pressing on like this like they've literally done it all plus more over and over and over again like they just repeat themselves at this point it feels it feels like to me i do like some products from ColourPop. i really like their luxe oils like a lot i really like that from the wild nothing collection but that's the last collection that i bought from them i believe i think that's the last collection i bought from them and i just i, I can't it's just too freaking much so anything from color pop lately is an anti-haul for me <laughs> although the baby yoda palette was freaking adorable and i almost thought about it but i didn't do it good on me no not good on me i bought way more makeup than that i shouldn't be congratulating myself <laughs> i've spent uh, way too much money lately so anyways okay so sugar pill i've never tried sugar pill before i've wanted to try them but right now they're doing these palettes that are these capsule collection palettes and they look like this and they have all this empty space and the, the pans are different sizes and i just my organization brain is like no stop make it stop make it stop it doesn't look right like there's space in there one's bigger than the other there's no organization to it the colors are kind of everywhere and like this one particular in particular the i think this is their hall is this their halloween one it says halloween but i assumed it was their holiday one it says halloween though halloween's a holiday <laughs> Anyways, I wouldn't purchase this because of the reasons I just said. And also, like, none of these colors make sense to me. Like, they just don't go together. I, I don't really understand these palettes. They're very confusing for me. And I just see it and get confused and not inspired. And when I see a palette, I want to be inspired to create something. I'm not confused by it and have to think and make it work. And, like, what do I do with these colors, you know? Like, I really want to be able to be inspired by a palette. And they don't really inspire me because they're just really confusing to me oh here's a big one that a lot of people i feel like have been talking about patrick star one size beauty is it one size beauty or just one size anyways he came out with these translucent powders or setting powders one is translucent and one is a deep shade there is a full size and a mini size uh I can almost guarantee that this translucent shade will not be translucent enough for me because Patrick is a very full coverage person and I'm pretty sure these are made to give you a little bit of extra coverage in a way but still set down your makeup and these powders that have any kind of tint like this one kind of looks like it has a little bit of a yellowish just a little bit of a, a tint to it never work for me i feel like any translucent powder that i get has to be white for it to work on my skin it's very rare that i find a translucent powder that has any kind of color to it that's actually translucent on me so i'm pretty sure that this would never work for me i would like want to like try it there is a mini size for 16 dollars i don't see myself ever buying this at all because I know it won't work on me and i think that 
he tried to create this deeper shade on here so that it like oh look i'm being inclusive but two is not enough it is not enough it's not enough for someone who's like a ghost like me and it's not enough for people in the middle of deep and light shades like you need to have at least four shades in here like i feel like you have to have like a white one and then this one is good and then one in the middle of this one and the deep one and the deep one and then maybe that's like the st that's like the smallest amount that i feel like you should come out with in my opinion i'm just definitely not gonna purchase this because i already know that that's definitely not gonna work for my skin it's gonna have a yellow un tint under my eyes and it's not gonna work for me which sucks because i've heard a lot of people talk about how good the mac uh the mac collaboration powder he did and i almost bought that back in the when it i couldn't because it was sold out but anyways I was really interested in that so I feel like this was a hyped up product because of that collaboration he did and I would love to try this but I just can't because I can already tell that it's not something that's gonna work for me. Maybe if I swatch it in store one day but that's not in uh, the cards for me seeing that I'm in Italy and one size is not in Italy so not in the Italian Sephora. He's not in there. So mm -hmm, definitely not purchasing this. Uh, P. Louise canceled. <sighs> I feel like she canceled herself with this canceled collection because <laughs> nobody was talking about her nobody was talking about, uh, nobody cared about p louise before i mean she had her little controversy where she said the n-word which you know not cool but literally you went and did this and it doesn't even look good like nothing in here looks good this palette is ugly honestly and everybody has these shades already and the packaging is huge and bulky and just this whole thing is just stupid that's all i have to say about that it's dumb not into it at all why are we continuing with this canceled stuff like let's move on from that kylie cosmetics has two different holiday collections which both in my opinion are incredibly well done not incredibly well done but the aesthetic of it is incredibly well done she has one that's like the pink and gold themed which this looks so gorgeous to me not the actual shades just the packaging it looks so appealing to me but i would never actually purchase this because the products inside not great especially these six pan do like these six pan eyeshadow palettes what the cool tone one is what what is that it's like four shades of the same thing and a sparkly one and a day <laughs> and then the other one like everyone has these shades everyone has these little nude shades i think it's smart for her to go into the six pan because she knows that like that's what's hot right now is like smaller palettes i don't think that this is like the worst collection that she's done but i'm definitely not gonna purchase anything from kylie although i will say this grinch collection was amazingly done like wow this is what a grinch uh, collaboration should should look like it looks really 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 good i don't love the palette though i think the palette is not quite grinch in my opinion like it's kind of boring and definitely safe and i know a lot of people are saying this um i don't know i'm in the middle uh, i'm in the middle with it like it's kind of cute kind of boring you know it's not quite grinch though it's, it's definitely not grinch vibes I feel like she could have done more, especially since she has the other holiday collection too. She could have really went all out with this eyeshadow palette since she has the other ones, but you know, got me a little safe, I guess. But with that said, this Grinch collection is well done, but I would never buy a Grinch anything <laughs> because once Christmas is over, it's like, I will not want to use it again to be honest like I'll be over it like until next the, the following year like I liked themed collections but if it's like a holiday like if it's specific to a holiday like a Halloween something or a Christmas something I feel like I just don't gravitate towards those because I'm not gonna use it the entire year you know like so I would just I just don't ever think that I would purchase either of these collections but i do feel like she did pretty good she did pretty good morphe also did a collaboration with lisa frank which there's a whole bunch of drama behind this collaboration too but besides all the drama with lisa frank was supposed to do makeup with glamour dolls back in the day a long time ago it had a kickstarter but they never did it and then people lost their money blah 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 there's a bunch of drama behind it which totally puts a bad like taste in any everyone's mouth when they collabed with morphe um but 
Again, are we surprised? It's Morphe. All that aside, packaging is cute, but this palette, honestly to me, is not cute. Like, I don't feel like it looks super Lisa Frank. If you, I, there's a few colors that do, but I, I kind of feel like this doesn't look super Lisa Frank to me. Maybe it's just me, like the packaging does. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like there should be like a super bright yellow in there. Like there should just be a lot more super bright colors in there. And there's only a few. And there's some other deeper weird shades that are just don't really look very Lisa Frank to me. I don't know if it's just me, but I've not really heard anyone say that. I've heard people say it was like well done, but I don't feel like it was well done. I just, I just don't. Also, I would, I would not buy anything Lisa Frank because I never really went through a Lisa Frank stage, to be honest. I think it's cool. I think it's cute, but I just personally never got Lisa Frank stuff. Maybe that's because we always got the really cheap. We always got the really cheap stuff, like the really not cute stuff because I just realized my heater is on this whole time I've been recording. Hopefully that's not annoying. Sorry. It's probably super quiet now. <laughs> Anyways, I never had a Lisa Frank stage because we didn't have a, a lot of money, so I never got the cute, cool stuff. There is this face palette from Physician's Formula. It's called the All-Star Face Palette, and I just, I feel like they're doing the thing where they do everything better bronzer related and everything's starting to look the same, and I'm over it, and... Physician's formula is just becoming very boring and very kind of cheap looking to me. I don't know. Anybody else see that vibe? Like, yeah, buddy bronzer was great, but why does everything look the same now? I don't know. I feel like all of these just like look like things that they've had before. And they're really, they just really harp on these face products that I'm just like, they never do anything innovative or different anymore. Definitely not something I would purchase. Not only that, it's got like two bronzers in there. Like there's not even a blush in there. What is this? Now that I'm looking at it even harder, there's a bronzer, a bronzer, a glow powder, multicolor powder, rose all day petal, petal glow, happy glow and mood boosting blush. First of all, that heart thing does not look like a blush if you ask me. And then are these three highlighters? I don't know what's going on with this palette. What are these products? I don't know. Definitely would never purchase that. That's weird. Lunar Beauty. Um, I've never tried Lunar Beauty. I really want to try it, Manny's brand some at some point. He just came out with this palette, and I think it's kind of boring. <laughs> oh, I don't want to say it, but it's kind of true. I mean, the swatches look amazing, and I don't doubt that it's... Sorry, there's a hair close to my eye. I don't doubt that it's an amazing formula, but I feel like I have all of these shades except for maybe like the gray shade, but everything else is just, I mean, I get it because he's trying to add a neutral palette to his collection, but it's kind of just too dark and gray for me. Like I don't ever wear like cool tone kind of neutrals. So this is definitely not something for me, although it looks really cool. And I think that Manny does a really good job with his packaging and his brand. Like everything he does looks so cool and I definitely want to try it one day. I do really like the brushes though. I'm not into handling those because those are really cool. But the palette is definitely not for me. I have all these shades. I'm really actually kind of happy that people are coming around to Manny now because I have behind the scenes i've been watching him for a long time i think i watched him before all of his drama and then i stopped watching him when all the drama happened because i was just annoyed with everyone and then this past year yeah i would say this past year i've been watching him again and i think that he is hilarious <laughs> like i really like his videos and i think he's definitely grown as a person and i really think it's cool that people are really into his brand and i'm into his brand even though i've not tried it but it's such a cool aesthetic and i definitely want to try it one time just not this palette this palette's not for me oh my god look at this holiday collection from ColourPop. oh my god that is just oh it is too much man why is there so much oh Anastasia Beverly Hills are doing their uh, vault bundle deal things again and they have the uh, sultry eyeshadow palette or the um, Jackie Ina palette and then it also comes with a, a liquid liner and a full-size mascara and an eye primer deluxe sample. They also have like the trios of the Nervina palettes that you can get together. 
and the lipsticks you know the the best thing from these vaults i feel like are the lipstick collections but right now who's wearing lipstick outside not to me that's for sure i am not i'm definitely not going to be purchasing any of this especially those vault collections with the palettes and stuff because i just feel like bored abh used to be on top man they really did but i just don't know what happened and now i just feel like i'm bored of these palettes like they're just bringing back old palettes and i'm like why do we need to can we make something new i don't know these are good palettes though like i actually have never tried the sultry palettes and i wouldn't mind if someone like gifted that to me or something but i would probably never go out of my way to purchase it because i'm bored the jackie aina palette though the only thing I'm glad that's back here is the Jackie Arna palette because I love Jackie and I think that sh uh, everybody should buy this palette. I don't have this palette, but I have purchased it for a giveaway last year, so I wanted to support that a little bit. Dear God, another ColourPop picture? What? Trend Mood should just make a whole account for ColourPop. Like, wow. Why do they share so much ColourPop too? That's what I don't understand. They must be paying her or something. She says that doesn't happen, but... Will we ever know? We won't. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk about. Ooh, here's one. Revolution. I just want to punch Revolution because I really love some of Revolution's face products. Like their concealer foundation. Their concealer and their foundation and just like their their stick foundation like their face products are really good the stuff that they make themselves is so good and i want to be able to share those things with you guys but i mm, after i mean it's already been like this for a while but after seeing these candles that they definitely definitely stole from jackie Aina, like they look exactly like them makes me so angry and i don't want to purchase from them at all and like I, it, it sucks because it makes me want to get even get rid of the makeup that i have from them because i just feel like it's such a shady brand like they are an equivalent of morphe to me at this point and how shady they are and like just it's just wrong how they blatantly like copy these like indie and small brands it's just so wrong obvious too like they're not even trying to hide it like they could have came out with candles with like the same kind of concept but like totally different packaging and nobody would have known like i just don't get it like why did you have to do this you didn't even try to make it your own this is straight copying from people and it really just grinds my freaking gears i think even more because i was rooting for them a little bit at some point like i really like revolution and now i'm just like wow Oh, it's so frustrating because they're such an affordable brand and I love that about them but I hate how much they just steal things from people so I can't I'm just ugh, I'm just really like off put by them so I, I'm taking this very personal I know it's makeup or well this isn't makeup this is candles but these are real like people's lives like like these people make these brands from their own like money and their hard work and their sweat and then this big company with that already has so much money comes and steals their ideas like i just why they make good products like they make their own good products why can't they why do they have to steal from people they could just stick with their own thing that's what makes me so mad it just makes me feel like they're doing things for money you know i mean and i know that's what all brands do but there's just no care they just don't care and, I, and it, it bothers me. So on that note, <laughs> I think I'm gonna end this video here because um, that got me real heated. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to go check out Styled by Mickey's channel. Again, she is linked in the description box below. Thank you, Mickey, for collabing with me. I'm so happy that we were able to do this. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. We have more videos coming all this summer long for Love Miss. I hope you guys enjoy the series and all of my hard work and tears and stress. Because <laughs> it's going to happen. I know I'm going to have a little bit of a breakdown at some point, but... We're going to push through because I just love YouTube that much. All right, I'm not going to ramble anymore. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. <laughs>